Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am quite excited to share with you this little but nifty tool called as Pix to Text or Latex OCR. Latex, which is also called as uh, text by some uh, people, is quite an old but proven technology. It is a document preparation system and markup language that is widely used for typesetting scientific and technical documents such as research papers, thesis and dissertations. It is particularly popular among academics and researchers in fields like maths, physics, engineering and especially in AI. If you have ever written an archive paper, you know what I mean because Latex is known for its ability to produce high quality documents with precise formatting and layout. Now this project which is Pix to Text is quite nifty because the goal of this project is to create a learning based system that takes an image of a math formula and returns corresponding Latex code. And then you can use that code to embed it in your paper or wherever you want to do it. So in this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Now for the purpose of this tool I am going to use Docker so make sure that you have a recent version of Docker installed as you can see I have this one and then in order to download the image build it and then run the containers with a Gradio demo you just need to run this command and it is going to download it first and then it is going to build it and then it is going to start it on your local system so and it also contains all the models and everything so it's all self-contained stuff so let's wait for it to finish downloading and i said gradio primarily it's a stream lit i sometimes i mix them up but both are great technologies okay so everything is running now now we can access this at our local system so let me go to my local system and then access it at port 8501 which is a default streamlit port and there you go you can see that our latex ocr or pix to text module has been installed let's try to see how it works i'm going to give it some images so i have just selected this image from my local system which contains some math formulas so i'm just clicking on convert it is computing and while it runs, let me quickly show you my VRAM consumption if it is using it and if it is, then how much it is using it. So it's not using any VRAM, it is all running on CPU. So let's wait for it to finish completing and I will tell you how long did it take. And you can see that it is still running for the last couple of minutes. and. The reason why it is running so slow is because of CPU and I really don't see any specific option to offload it to GPU and it is using a model behind the scene and that model works best with images of smaller resolution and that is why the creator of this project has also added a pre-processing step where another neural network or model predicts the optimal resolution of the input image. And then this model automatically resizes the custom image to best resemble the training data and increases the performance of images found in the wild. It's not still perfect but and might not be able to handle huge images optimally. So don't zoom in all the way before taking a picture. And always double check the results carefully especially with these older projects. And by the way it's not a new project it is uh, before the generative AI era but still a lot of people have been using it and I have been asked to cover it in the channel so that is why I am doing it and you can see that without generative AI without GPU it is really a slog anyway let's wait for it to finish 
And there you go, it took around 5 minutes, but at least it has given us a correct answer in the proper latex code. So which is good, but I think it would be really good to have some GPU option enabled with the Docker. But other than that, looks quite good. If you have this small requirement to generate latex code, seems like a good tool. And if you are just constrained to CPU, even then it is quite a good tool. So that's it. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me also show you how you can just clean up everything if you like. The first step after going to your terminal, just press Control C to just stop the front end and back end. Once that is done, first stop all the running containers. I'm just going to stop them. Okay, so it says that it couldn't stop anything. It seems that everything is already stopped then, which is good. And then we can simply run this docker system prune command which is going to delete all the images and then containers and everything you see it took over 4 gig of space in total at the system anyway so that's pretty much it i will drop the link to this repo in video description let me know what do you think i have done heaps of ocr tools ai models and stuff so if you're interested just go to my channel and then from here if you just search with OCR you should be able to see a lot of modern tools modern models as you can see so and there are hundreds of videos on OCR which you can readily check and I'm more than sure you are going to find one thing or another as per your use case if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching